Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing Nathaniel Green joining the American cause. In 1775, Rhode Island officials named Nathaniel Green commander of the state's Army of Observation, making Green the youngest general in the Army. During the Siege of Boston, Green's brigade was recognized as the most disciplined and best equipped of the colonial militias, and Green gained the notice and admiration of General George Washington. During the fight for Manhattan in the summer of 1776, Green was promoted to Major General and assigned command of Fort Washington and Fort Lee. Unfortunately, Green lost Fort Washington and its entire 3,000-man garrison when he did not evacuate it in time and failed to hold Fort Lee as well. Despite the losses, Washington stood by Green when others did not. The Continental Army now fled across New Jersey and in mid-December reached the relative safety of Pennsylvania. At this pivotal moment, General Washington crossed the Delaware on Christmas night, 1776, to attack the Hessian garrison at Trenton. Washington entrusted the critical left wing of the assault to Green, whose men performed well, capturing over 900 soldiers. In 1777, when the British moved on Philadelphia, Green commanded a division at the Battle of Brandywine Creek and again at Germantown. When the city fell to the British, Washington moved his men into winter quarters at Valley Forge. Within weeks, food, clothing, and medicine was in short supply, and the men suffered accordingly. To rectify the situation, Washington named Green Quartermaster General and Green created an efficient supply system that prevented the further loss of American lives. Next week, we will discuss General Nathaniel Green and his Southern Command. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.